Greetings and salutations, YouTube family and friends. Cheerio Vlogs here. What's up, guys? So I am here with my father and Bob and Brandy. And we are here at the Hollywood Casino Amphitheater to listen to Dave Mason, the Doobie Brothers, and Journey. Stay tuned for some pictures, guys. I can't really give a whole lot of audio because I don't want them coming after me for copyright infringement. So uh, stay tuned for the slideshow. Here it comes. So I'm back home, it's the next day, and I thought I'd give my thoughts on the concert as a whole. First things first, new hat hype? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Things started out with Dave Mason, who took the stage, I was surprised, about five minutes early. When I go to concerts, I'm not used to them beginning on time, much less beginning early. So Dave surprised us with an early arrival on stage to begin his set, and uh, I found out that Dave Mason was full of surprises that night. I had assumed he would be the least familiar of the three groups that were going to be on stage that night, but as he began playing, I started realizing I knew more stuff than I thought I did. Fun fact, did you know that Jimi Hendrix's rendition of All Along the Watchtower featured Dave Mason on acoustic guitar? I had no idea. I learned something that night. Another thing that Dave Mason did that was much of a surprise was they had some of the Doobie Brothers and the bassist from Journey come out and perform with them for a little while, so it was like a mishmash of everybody together kind of jamming on stage for a little while. That was pretty neat to hear all the sounds mixing together, so that was cool. Then it was time for the Doobie Brothers to come out on stage, and can't really say a whole lot about the Doobie Brothers. I mean, their name pretty much speaks for itself. They are the Doobie Brothers, and doggone it, after all these years, they still sounded amazing. If you guys have never seen the Doobie Brothers live and you get the chance, I highly recommend you see them. Their music has such a feel-good vibe to it, their stage presence is great, they really know how to put on a show, and by the end of their set, everybody was standing up dancing and singing along. It was just, it was so awesome to see the guys still rocking out after so long in the business and still loving every minute of it. I mean, you could definitely tell that they were enjoying themselves. And honestly, I was enjoying myself too in the stands. Then it was time for the main event of the night, or so it was booked on the card, for Journey to come out. And let me say this about Journey's set, there is one word that I can use to describe their set. And no, it's not soft. It was loud. Like, wow. Dave Mason, his sound was pretty in your face, or in this case, in your ears. The Doobie Brothers, they scaled the sound back a little bit. I mean, it was very well mixed. You could still hear everything, but it wasn't like, oh, noise. When Journey came out, they cranked everything up to 11, or maybe it was even 12 or 13. Anyway, it was loud. And of course, that's how a lot of people enjoy Journey. And they played all of their standard charts, all of the things that people knew them for. As I'm sure a lot of you know, Steve Perry was not the lead singer with them. However, the Filipino gentleman that they had with them, Arnel Pineda, I hope I'm saying that name right, I could be butchering it, I'm so sorry, but he was their lead singer, and let me tell you, Steve Perry has a very interesting range when it comes to male vocals. This guy nailed it. I mean, if you closed your eyes, you really thought it could have been Steve singing with them. I mean, he did such a great job, so full of energy, it reminded me of a Trans-Siberian Orchestra show. The singer was running back and forth from one side of the stage to the other and jumping and spinning and acting like David Lee Roth jumping in the air and doing splits. It was absolutely crazy. The energy level was absolutely amazing. Most of the crowd were on their feet the entire time that Journey was out there. They did not sit down. 
it was crazy and all in all I had a really great time all three groups Dave Mason Doobie Brothers Journey if you get the chance to see them live at any time take it you will not be disappointed it is a night that you will not forget and especially if you're a rock fan like me classic rock fan you know funk whatever the Doobie Brothers really span across all kinds of genres but it's just it was a wonderful night I had a great time and I definitely recommend that you guys give them a chance too because I'm pretty sure you'll know a lot of Dave Mason and Doobie Brothers work if you don't if you're not familiar with them already so give them a shot for sure I think you'll like it well that's really all I've got to say about that today so until next time I'll talk to you soon and take care bye bye <laughs>